there and welcome to the Singapore series. All right, my friends, today we are going to try a tea that not really, it wasn't recommended to me, but there's a swanky hotel there called the Raffles Hotel. And when we were at one of the malls, um, they had a tea shop and they sell the teas that this manufacturer makes for the Raffles Hotel. Um, and I forget who this is, but it's the Raffles Hotel Singapore. This is the Darjeeling first flush that they serve at their hotels. Um, so it says Darjeeling at Raffles, tasting notes, an earthy aroma proceeds with distinctive chirpy notes of freshly cut grass. Be greeted with vibrant fruity woody flavors that fill the palate, accompanied with a hint of flowery finish. Mild briskness maintains and the sweet aftertaste of grapes. The Raffles recommends that you have this indulgent brew to lift you up. Your brewing temperature is 95 degrees Celsius, which is I think like 200 Fahrenheit. Um, you can either brew it for one minute to have a light cup of tea, two, min two to three minutes for a medium bodied tea, or three to five for a strong bodied tea. Our ingredients in this is 100% pure Darjeeling black tea, specially curated by, oh, here we go, by the 1872 Clipper Tea Company. That's interesting. We had a Clipper Tea Advent calendar for Advent this past Christmas season that if memory serves me correctly, I wasn't too impressed with. So, um, Hmm. Hmm. We'll see. But beautiful, beautiful foiled box. Um, it's a delightful orangish color. Um, it's, it is a beautiful box. Um, I will give you that. Um, you know, let's see if I can, no, I'm going to have to get one of these out. It's the only bad thing about having the long fingernails right now is that it's hard for me to open stuff. Um, but you know, you figure out how and you move on. Sometimes I can't figure out how and I'll have to have the, the husband or the children help, but everybody is doing their own thing today. All right. We have taken our shrink wrap off. Um, so it opens from the back, which is, well, I guess it, oh, it, it opens from the front. <laughs> Linda's just not with it today, is she? All right. Okay. And so when we open, we have individual wrapped, uh, foil wrapped Darjeeling tea bags. Um, it's quite, quite lovely. Lovely, lovely. So we will shut that and put it here with our little tea friend uh, raffles hotel singapore darjeeling first flush black uh fruity fruity woody flavors with floral hints and then it just repeats the same information 90 to 95 degrees celsius one minute two to three minutes or three to five minutes depending on what you want uh, and it's been made by the 1872 Clipper Tea Co. We have a nice sachet Ooh, with a longer string. That's quite lovely. Lovely, lovely. Um, nice, nice leaves inside of that packet. I have boiled my water off screen so that we should be at the right temperature now. Um, why don't we go for a mid-range tea and let's, hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Three minutes, starting now. All right, and we will have a three minute tea. That would be the green one. 
and we'll put that over there. We, um, we did not get to go to the Raffles Hotel when we were there. Um, we stayed at a place called the Warehouse Hotel, which is uh, a boutique hotel owned by Marriott. And it was a phenomenal place. We really enjoyed it. Um, the staff was amazing. Um, absolutely amazing and the hotel manager was I, I don't know what I expected a hotel manager to be but this man was on point he knew all of us by our names um, from the very first day that we were there um, the husband was there for a conference um, and so several of his co-workers were there as well and he knew all of us by first name uh, after that first day after breakfast actually the Warehouse Hotel, if you're ever in Singapore, I absolutely recommend that you go there. Hey Siri, stop timer. Okay, so our timer has elapsed. Let's, oh, these leaves have plumped up tremendously inside of this RuPaul. Tremendously. I'll dangle it here so you can see quite impressive actually how much they've plumped up um, the color is not quite the yum yum color but it's a Darjeeling and those are usually just a little bit lighter so I'm good with this color uh, it is translucent you can see through it uh, there looks like there might be a little bit of particulate uh, but I think that's floating on the top and that's me I might not have gotten the um, cup completely unsoaked from when I washed it last time uh, but it, it looks like a lovely cup of tea it smells like a Darjeeling um, you know that tea-ish floral -ish smell that the Darjeeling's have uh, and from a first flush no less so let's give it a sip mm, oh my Wow, that is exactly what it says it is. It's kind of fruity, kind of woody, um, and, it, and it does have a little bit of a, a floral note at the end of it that makes it just a little bit sweet uh, on the back part. That's um, quite, quite a intricate tea. Uh, the taste is, the taste is amazing. Um, I don't think I would put anything in this tea. It is light, but not overly so. It's smooth. Um, it's a touch sweet. Um, it's a it's a touch bold. It's it's very interesting. It's it's quite. It's quite an intricate cup of tea, actually. All right, well, thank you so much for coming by and having a couple with me today. Um, I hope you're enjoying the Singapore series and let me know if you've had any of these teas and what you think about them. Um, thanks so much for coming by and I'll see you next time. Bye.